Hi everyone, in this video I'll show you how to use the Olama tool to run a Lava API server. Lava is a new model that can process both images and text. It's not so new, you know, it's been about two months since it came out, but Lava stands for Large Language and Vision Assistant. Right, so this is not just a model that gives you text output, but it can also take in, this Lava model can also take in image plus text, and it will give you text output. So you can say things like, tell me if this image has pizza or hot dog, and it, it will say you know, if uh, the image does have those items or not. Or you can ask any questions like, you know, uh, let me get a list of everything you see in this image. So you can do a bunch of things like this, but in this video, what we'll do is we'll set the basic infrastructure for that, right? So we'll use Olama to run this Lava model on Mac. Uh, I'm running this on a 16 gigs um, M2 Mac, uh, MacBook Air to be specific. And I'll be creating a Python script that will be uh, calling an API endpoint, which will be created in the uh, server uh, using Olama. So let's get started. So once again, to recap, Lava is a multimodal model, multimodal machine learning model that can understand both image and text. Now, once again, this is different than Facebook's Llama, which only can output text and cannot take image as input. It was released by Microsoft and some other researchers and you can read about this uh, project uh, in the link that I will add to the description box. What about Olama, right? I've done videos on Olama because I believe that Olama is the easiest tool that you can use to run models locally. Olama is just a tool that you can use to talk to these machine learning models, open source models locally on your own laptop or desktop. And in this video, we'll be uh, using Olama tool to create a server which will be serving the Lava API that we can call, right? So we'll get an API endpoint that we can interact with and do programmatic things like ask if the image has something or if the image is hot dog or not and things like that. So we'll be creating a Python program uh, to do all of this. Uh, the Python program will accept prompt and image. So you need to supply both prompt and image. And then we'll call this program via command line interface and ask it to analyze an image that we supply according to the prompt we provide. So let's get started. Now the first step before you can do this uh, tutorial is download Olama. Now it's a very simple uh, process. You just go to this website, olama.ai, and download this uh, tool for either Linux or Mac. Uh, once again, I'm on Mac. This is not available on Windows as of now, but coming soon. Once you download this, just open the app And then you'll have something that's running right here, right? You can see uh, there's something running and Llama is now running. But when you download and run Olama, Olama will also install a command line uh, tool for you. If I type Olama in my command line, you can see that I have the CLI installed, the command line interface installed after I downloaded that application. Now this is the baseline where we all need to be before we start, right? So once this is set up, which should be uh, done in a few minutes. So what I suggest you do is before we start working on the script, just do Olama run Lava, right? So if you run this command, if you haven't downloaded Lava yet, it's gonna start downloading the Lava model on your machine. 
and that might take you you know 20 minutes 40 minutes or even a few hours depending on your internet speed right so I already have this downloaded you know and that takes a while so I did that already but I want you to do this so once you're downloading the model let's start working on our Python script let's look at a script I've written to talk to that model once it's downloaded um, the first thing we'll be doing is we'll start the Olama server. Now the reason we need to do that is uh, the model that you download is not loaded up by default. You need to start a server and specify a model. Now in the CLI you would just say Olama run model name and for example you, it, you can be lava and you'll get a interface where you can start sending messages and from the CLI you can say things like analyze this image right and when I supply the image of pizza which is right here I, I get response saying the image is of a pizza in front of a white wall da 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 so you know I do get confirmation from this model that it is seeing pizza what if I wanna run a program and then only call this uh, model once in a while right and that's what we'll be doing with this script with this Python script so once again I've created this script the first thing it does is start the server just like we did here by calling this run command which is right here right so first step is we start the server at that point we get a API endpoint now when you run the model using Olama that you downloaded you get access to a CLI interface right where you can um, type your prompt and supply the location of the image but you also get an API right and this is what we want to work with in this video right the API is very interesting because you can make programmatic calls to the API endpoint so this is how you can interact with the API and this is what we'll be using in our script now one thing you noticed is when you supply the image to the API it has to be base64 encoded so we do that using this function encode image to base64 and we also have a function to analyze the image right that will take in the image path and the custom prompt we're giving the endpoint of the model which is right here uh, the image and then and the prompt and then we make a request to the model right here and then we return the response right here uh, and then finally what we're doing is we're parsing a couple of things from the command line uh, as you'll see in a bit but when you call this program when you call this script you'll need to supply the image and prompt using flags so this is the code for that and finally we'll, this is just the code to um, uh, start uh, the Olama server and then analyze the image uh, that we supply right so that is it um, and once again the code will be on github uh, hopefully this is straightforward so let's go ahead and run this okay so the first thing we'll do is call this lava.py program and then supply the image uh, which is gonna be pizza dot jpeg and then we'll also supply a prompt um, is this hot dog or not now it's starting the Olama server with lava and as you can see on the screen when I asked if the image is of a hot dog the model said no it is a pizza so it accurately answered my question so now let's supply another image and this time of hot dog which is this 
Now this time it said, yes, it is a hot dog, right? When I passed the image of the hot dog. Now, just to give you a sense of uh, what else it can do, I also uh, have this image of Cloud Yeti, uh, which is the channel name. And let's see if uh, this model can recognize what's going on with this image, right? So instead of hotdog.jpg, we'll just supply the cloud .png file. And I'll say, is, it, is this hot dog or not? If not, what is it described in detail? Okay, and the response is, this is a digital artwork of an imaginary creature which is not a hot dog, which is correct. The image appears to be of a giant, yes, fluffy white being with large ears and a face. The creature's body shape resembles of a human but features very long hairy arms and legs. So yeah, this is supposed to be a Yeti. And the, if I say, is this a Yeti? Let's see what it says. Now, when I give it a hint, it says, it appears to be a Yeti, an imaginary creature, da 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 da, da right? So as you can see, the, the language model is pretty powerful. People have done some uh, interesting projects with uh, these kind of models. So to recap, in this video, we used Olama tool on um, a Mac machine to run a Lava model, and we created a API endpoint which we called using a Python script. You'll have the code on GitHub available to you. If you have any questions, put them in the comments below. If you have any video ideas or video requests, put them in the comments below. Thank you for watching. I'll see you soon.